Friends at the Danish Covenant Church, I hope you're enjoying your conference and I just want to say that I'm very thankful for all of you and your involvement over all these years um, with the people from Burma. So we're, we're very thankful for all of your help for the people from Burma, the people in the refugee camps and with the microfinance project, with the women's group and we just are very blessed to be um, in ministry with you and to have such great friends who pray and support and are so active in helping people who need so much and we just um, want to invite you to come anytime and I hope I can see you in person soon but otherwise we know that we're together um, with God. All right thank you God and thank you all our Danish friends and Voice of Peace Vigo and company for filming this I have uh, many stories to share about God's help, and thank you for being part of that. One story that came to my mind when Vigo asked me to do this was actually December, Christmas Day. We were on a mission in Corinth State, and we'd given out presents, and I asked our team, you guys want anything more? Is there anything else you would like to have? And I turned to our medic named Sake, which means bright star, and she's a very sweet lady, and she said, yes. I only want one thing. I said, what's that? She said, I want my mother and father back. And it hit my heart because her mother and father were killed on Christmas Day by the Burma Army. And so I looked at her, I didn't know what to say, and I said, can I pray? And I went to her and I held her hand and I just said, God, help, help us in this. And when I got done praying, she patted me on the arm and she said, don't worry, teacher, it's okay. God has them and God has a mission for me and that's to help my people. And I thought, that's what it's about in life. When terrible things happen, God gives us the strength to do something good. And God redeems all situations. And finally, all the things of life that are truly precious, God has. So I thank you that while we're on this earth, you help us do the things that God wants done. So thank you and God bless you. Last night, we just got back from Kachin State, one month mission up there, where they're still fighting. There's no ceasefire. Over 50,000 people displaced. And Karen will tell you something about what she felt on that mission. Like Dave said, we just came back from a mission in Kachin State, Northern Burma. And the impression to me was about God's mercies being new every morning. In that situation, the conflict is new. It's only a year old compared to a decade, many decades of conflict in Karin State. The teams that we trained are new. They just decided they wanted FBR training and people came to get training for a crisis. And so that verse about God's mercies being new every morning was very profound that God will speak to the teams, he'll speak to the kids, and he'll bring something new. Just as this is a new crisis, he'll bring something new that's relevant to that place in their hearts as they see their families in a difficult situation. For us, please pray that we know how to meet their needs as they want to serve their own people and especially the children so that they can move on to something, a future and a hope that God has for them. So thank you. I came here with the purpose to help my people and our, especially our main uh, focus is on the helping our young people because who are forced to live in the camp or displaced camp. So we want to provide education for them, especially theological education. We came to this camp after the fall of uh, Wally, place where we had our Bible college and then we had to across uh, the border and become uh, refugees or displaced in this camp. And our life and ministry in the camp is totally dependent on our help and support from our brothers and sisters around the world. Our motto is uh, learning the word of God to be well equipped for every good work. 
So we try the best we can. And this, this year, uh, on the April 28th, while my wife and me and some of the students, we went to Nopu for uh, a, a, to officiate a wedding. And on the way, we got a message that the Bible school, the Bible college was on fire. So we, we can't do anything, we can't say anything, but we just pray. And we said, Lord, your will be done. Because of the love and the support of friends and the brothers and sisters and, and the prayer, we have uh, started a rebuilding. And now, as you see in the background here, we have the building. This is the building that uh, have the chapel and classroom. And we also have the room for the girl, girls to stay. And we have the, we will have the, what you call the, this one is for the, the dormitory for the boys. So we have everything that, that uh, we, we, we now, we plan to uh, build two buildings, like twin buildings, one here and one there. And uh, now we start with the chapel and the classroom. And we thank God for providing all this through our brothers and sisters and helping us. Especially we thank our brothers and sisters from Denmark. You know, we, we have a classroom not yet finished, but we already have the chairs and the table and the whiteboard, everything ready, order and send already. We thank you so much for your, your faithful uh, help and support for us. We feel very much encouraged and we feel that we know that it is the word of God and God is going to, in spite of all the difficulties, God is there to provide opportunity we can serve him better. So our theme is uh, to the glory of God. And even for, the, for uh, God, we will try the best we can. Uh, better, greater and better and higher and stronger, everything for, for God. So thank you so much for your love and your concern for us expressed in your words and deeds, and especially praying for us. Thank you all so much. May God bless you.